What's going on guys, Josh here and we're back with another video. We're gonna be talking about ABO versus CBO. So for those of you that aren't aware, these are the budget optimizations that you can actually use when running Facebook ads. And we're gonna be diving in and really talking about each one and when you should be using each one. So if you're new to the channel, I just wanted to welcome you in. My name is Josh and I'm a seven figure entrepreneur who loves all things e-commerce, productivity and personal finance. So sit back, relax and let's jump straight into this one guys. So this is one of the most common questions that I get every single day from people who are looking to get started in the dropshipping or e-commerce industry or even if they're trying to run ads to start an agency or whatnot right but a lot of the times they ask you you know abo versus cbo josh what do you think about it often at times i find that they don't actually understand even what these mean it's just been thrown around in the industry so much so i wanted to clear that up first so abo and cbo these are acronyms just for budget optimization tactics abo is setting the budget at the ad set level Right? Whereas CBO is setting the budget at the campaign level, hence the names, ad set budget optimization, campaign budget optimization. So with this being said, I just want to address why there's so much confusion about the matter and like why so many people don't understand which ones to use at what points and all that kind of stuff. It's because back in the day, right, in 2017 and all that, there was a lot of talk about using, you know, ABOs and duplicating 10 times and, you know, no, never using CBOs because, you know, Facebook was going to enforce it and they stopped enforcing it and, you know, they're giving you that choice, right? So people have been going out there and saying, you know, use this, use this, use this. So there's a lot of information out there that's just confusing. And that's why I wanted to make this video just to kind of clear the air we still use both abo and cbo today right it just depends on the circumstances or the situation that you're in right and they're both very very useful so that's what we're going to be diving into in this video now when we're looking to decide whether or not we want to use abo or cbo the ultimate question is how much control do you want to have in the campaigns that you're running on facebook so for us we only use abo when we want to have 100 percent control of how much facebook is spending and what facebook is showing to our audience now what i'm talking about here is pretty much doing testing. We only use ABO when we're testing new audiences, new creatives, new thumbnails, new headlines, new ad copies, and new landing pages, right? There are six different variables right there. Just really quickly, we have 100% no certainty of, right? We don't know whether it's going to work or not. These are all theories that, you know, myself and my team have developed, and we want to test that. So we're going to tell Facebook, hey, Facebook, here's $20. Why don't you go show this ad copy and this creative to my audience? And let's see if it works. And if it works really well, you're getting a lot of sales and high return on ad spend and, you know, high click through rates, low cost per clicks, all that kinds of stuff, positive triggers. That gives me a lot of confidence in those variables, right? So it's a matter of testing each variable one by one. Once we know what our winning audiences are, once our winning campaigns are, once our, what our winning, you know, ads are and our winning landing pages, then we can go to Facebook. Hey, Facebook, here's $500 is $1,000. You can spend that per day and we're just going to trust you and you're going to get us the best results as possible. Because at the end of the day, the ultimate goal of Facebook is to one, improve the overall like viewing experience for their users, but also for them to make money. And for them to make money, we as advertisers who are the ones that are paying them have to be happy with the results that are being brought back. So that's why we there's a difference between the ABO and CBO, right? It all depends on that control. So we're going to be diving into my computer right now and looking through the differences of how to set an ABO up, how to set a CBO up, and also when we're doing those testing variables, how we can name the, you know, the ad sets incorrectly so we can really segregate the test and really make sure that we're testing the right thing. So let's go straight into my computer. Okay, so we're in my computer right now and pretty much we're at the ads manager and we're gonna go ahead and create a CBO and an ABO. We're gonna go through one each at a time. So the first one we're gonna create is a ABO because it's just you know very simple. Now what we're gonna do is when we hit the new create button, uh, create a new campaign, we're gonna hit conversions because generally we like to go there. If you haven't seen my video about PPE or engagement versus conversions, I'm gonna link it right here for you guys. And you can go ahead and look at that and it depends on which situation you're in, your own personal financial circumstances or which one you should be using. But generally for us, because we are happy with you know spending a lot of money on Facebook we're happy to go with conversions straight away just click on that button right here and we're gonna name the campaigns right so let's go ahead and go one you know website conversion US and let's say we're doing uh, this is a ABO campaign so let's test it at ABO interest testing or audience testing for example audience testing one day click because audio uh, with the iOS 14 thing one day click is probably the best thing to do and that's it right now with the, the ad set and everything, don't worry too much about it. We just want to name the campaign, 
right? So now we're in the campaign, okay? So this is where we're gonna go through, and we've already gone through all of these, but we want to make sure that this campaign budget optimization is actually turned off for our testing campaigns, right? Because we're doing ABO, we're doing ad set budget optimization. So we need to make sure that this section right here, right, is turned off. So now we'll go into the ad set. You can either hit next, or you can press the button up here, new conversions ad set. So I'm gonna hit next just for simplicity's sake. Now, when we're looking at um, the ad set names, you wanna call it, like let's say for example, I am targeting cats, right? I'm selling something related to cats and I wanna test a new audience, right? We're getting started. I'm not sure which audiences are my winners or my losers, and we're just looking for a new audience. So therefore, we already created the campaign of audience testing. Then we're gonna have a look at like cats, right? Something like this. Now, go all the way down. This is where your uh, pixel will be, right? Your pixel is gonna be here and make sure that you, I'm gonna link another video right here that's gonna help you set up your Facebook pixel, Facebook everything, and just getting it ready for the whole iOS 14, you know, debacle that we're in. And now down here, going down, uh, make sure your conversion event is purchase. Or if you don't have purchase, either make a purchase on your uh, pixel right, real quick, or just run it to like add to cart or initiate checkout, whatever is fine. Now, here we go. Now, when we're going down at the budget section, this is kind of where we want to set up. We want to make sure it's at daily budget and just spend like $20 a day. $20 is more than enough. I know you see the AUD here. Don't worry too much about it. If you're doing USD, whatever, generally it's $20 AUD, USD, it doesn't really matter, right? Now, uh, generally, I like to just stick with 20. We're not gonna do an end date, don't worry anything about that. And we're gonna start it at today's date, June 30th. Now, when, when we're starting new tests, right? I always like to test it around the four or 5 a.m. section, right? And this is just going to, and we we'll always talk about this, but this is just going to prevent people who are on their phones at nighttime in bed, who are not really gonna buy, right? To see our ads and we're just gonna waste some money there. So it's just something that we do you don't need to do it to, um, but you know, it's up to you. Now, down here in the locations, you wanna make sure that you select the countries that you wanna advertise to. Now, at the, when we were creating this campaign, we were setting up um, for the United States. So I'm just gonna get rid of everything else and just create the United States here. Now, detailed targeting expansion, turn that off, right? And then here we go, detailed targeting. This is where we're gonna find the interests related to cats. So we're gonna go ahead, and let's just type in cats and let's just see what Facebook gets gets us, right? So here we go. Here's a cat's interest, 527 million, huge audience, right? Um, now with the whole iOS 14 thing, having broad audiences is good. So we can just go ahead and start that and just see how it goes. Now in terms of placements, I don't like putting automatic right at the beginning, right? Again, we're testing, we want to test that later down the track using ABO, right? But for here, what I like to do is just manual placements, right? And then I just want to put it on the feeds, right? I don't want to worry about, you know, anything else. I just want to put it on the Instagram and Facebook feed. Okay, so I'm just gonna cl I'm just clicking everything off here, and then at the top here we just want yeah Facebook news feed, Instagram feed, perfect. This is fine. Now at this point, right, we just want to go ahead and go down here, attribution settings, again one day click, just because of the iOS thing. That's it. That's exactly how you set up an ABO. Now um, remember how we set the budget here. So now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go create a CBO campaign. And we're gonna jump into where the differences are and we're gonna, I'm gonna show you where each one you know, varies. Go back to my um, thing and let's go ahead and create a, button, a, a new campaign again. Now on this, again, we're gonna do the exact same thing. You know, one, right, because it's the top of funnel. Website conversions, US. But here we're gonna go and we're gonna type in CBO. Rather than doing audience testing, CBO, remember, is when we wanna give control to Facebook. So we're gonna have pretty much, this is gonna be our prospecting or our scaling campaign. Prospecting campaign, and you know, it might be, uh, you know, segregated just for like interests. Uh, one day click. So pretty much it's website conversions, US, CBO, which is the optimization, the budget optimization. Um, we're calling it the prospecting campaign because we can have confidence that all the variables that are being put in here are going to be the winners. Making sure that this CBO is only related to our interest audiences, right? So the winning audiences that we find from our audience testing campaign and that are just interests, right? Because when you're first getting started, it's very difficult to go and, you know, use lookalike audiences or broad or that kind of stuff. When your pixel is very new, you don't want to do that. So we want to start with interests and kind of just work off from there. So, and then one day click. So go ahead. 
hit continue and so we're at the campaign level and remember when we're doing cbo it's campaign budget optimization so we're setting the budget at the campaign level here down right at the bottom you're going to have your campaign budget optimization just go ahead and turn that on right and then we want to set that to daily budget again okay and then we just want to set it at hundred dollars right generally uh, when i go ahead and start a cbo i i like to start it at about 100 150 dollars so that it just doesn't spend overspend too much especially when your pixel is very new facebook often at times can just go kind of sporadic kind of go crazy and often can spend the budget like crazy right without getting you many conversions if the budget is too high whereas if the budget is you know much smaller then facebook only has a hundred dollars to spend in a given a 24 hour period Therefore, it's not going to be like going and wasting the hundred dollars in the first hour, for example. It's going to segregate it out, split it out within 24 hours, and then just try to find you buyers every single hour of the day. So that's it. And then everything else is uh, remains the same, right? You don't need to worry too much about the ad set level right now in this video. Uh, I'll be creating guides for you, all these kinds of stuff later down the track. But just for the purpose of this video, I just wanted to show you how to set up an ABO, right? And a CBO. This is pretty much everything else in here will be already the winning audiences. So um, we already talked about, you know, setting up the targeting and all that. But these are all going to be variables that you've already tested. So there's no point in me going in and, you know, telling you, you know, what, um, what elements to change and whatnot because a lot of the times you would have tested certain things and you would know which ones are the winners better than I am I do the only thing that I will say is that I generally like to keep you know manual placements right always like to have Facebook and Instagram feed only right so I'm gonna tick off everything else like so right and then down at the bottom again one day click but apart from that everything else up the top you know your targeting you know the age demographics um detailed targeting expansion like let's just turn that up real quick um everything else should be remain static based on your testing in your abos so i hope that makes sense so that's pretty much the difference guys pretty much um the ad set level you know we're not you, you can notice here that there is no budget at the ad set level anymore but if i go to the previous ad set that we had, right? There's the budget and schedule because this is an ABO, whereas this one here is a CBO. Therefore, the budget at the ad set level is not present. Alrighty guys, so I hope that helped you out. We pretty much walked through what the differences between the ABO and CBO are, how to set each one up, and what are the little nuanced differences when looking at the Facebook ad manager. So I hope that helped you. Don't get too twisted, you know, don't get it too confused. Pretty much it's just, you know, it depends on your situation, whether or not you should be using ABO or CBOs. So that's the intent of this video to educate you to kind of give you guys the tools and then to apply it in your own life am i looking to test new audiences am i looking to test new creatives blah 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 then i'll be using abo do i already have winning audiences do i already have winning ads then i'm happy to put cvo in and let facebook find the audiences for me so i hope that really really helped you guys and put you some value and just clear the air because there's just a lot of misinformation out there so that is all the time that we have for this video i just wanted to remind you guys that all of this information is free so i would appreciate a like and a comment down below let me know what you guys thought about it does this help you guys out do you like this kind of style of videos and um, also want to remind you guys that we are doing limes every single saturday at 9 a.m central standard time so i hope to see you guys soon on a live session but for now let's say goodbye and i'll catch you guys in the next video don't forget to like comment and subscribe make sure you hit that notification bell so you know exactly when i'm dropping another video i'll catch you guys soon stay safe peace